Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Made and run of the HSP Wolverine. This is a new product out of HSP. Different chassis design. Got a wheelie bar that's actually adjustable. And I like the fact that it bolts into place unlike Traxxas' clipping system. But hey, everybody's different. Um, this is running 100% stock out of the box. No alterations, none of that jazz. Stock suspension. You name it, and uh, we're going to beat the snot out of this thing on the stock 2S LiPo battery that comes with it. Now, you can get this as a brushless system like this, or you can get the brushed version. If you go brushed, though, they give you a really sucky impact. So, go brushless. It's only a couple of bucks. Anyways, so, well, let's have some fun and punch this four-wheel 4x4 out of the atmosphere. Oh, oh hey! Yeah. Hey! Typical HSP. I love it. Full throttle. Got to watch that, man. Holy jeez, I don't know if I'm house. Yeah, typical HSP, even on 2S, it's squirrely. Oh, these are. Let's go for a speed run up the driveway. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Put that wheelie bar in action, man. <laughs> there you go. She's got some walkie power. Woo! Well, you know, I'm going to tell you guys something. When it comes to HSP, even on 2S, they'll kick the snot out of any Traxxas machine. <laughs> I'm not kidding, kidding you. And I've had a lot of Traxxas machines. Yeah. And, yeah. they HSP is Even, even are fun. geared up, the Traxxas machines don't do as well. They're full out. Woo! Whoa! Oh, nice. Think oh, I got, I got that. that. on video. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, that. Sweet. Backflip. Yeah. What a snot kicking machine. Woo! No reverse isn't too bad. Whoa! Nice. Oh, yeah. This thing is just like a steroid buggy, man. Careful flinging stones at the car. <laughs> that is so sweet. And the traction on these tires is really good. I do think I need a stronger servo. Yeah, I think I saw the the write up on this was like six kilogram. It likes to wheelie when it gets some traction on it. E6001 servo is six kilogram. So. Woo! Wow. Even in the grass, she's reaching. And this comes with constant velocity uh, axles too. So you've already got upgraded axle system in this thing. And <laughs> you're gonna need it. Okay, and the brakes is good. It's got really good brakes. Full throttle. goes like a bullet. Oh yeah, 3S is going to be like too dangerous on this thing. I've seen this thing. Mo Chase has pieces. And the guy like just, he, he flipped it going really fast. Like you got to really feather the throttle up on 3S to get your top speed. And once the guy did, uh, it actually Flip the wheelie and right onto its shell, and uh, just took a real nasty skid down the road. It was funny. I mean, these things have way too much power. To run but there, there's nothing wrong with that. You got to have power, right? This yeah. Fun. Typical HSP though. Oh yeah. Two S is squirrely. Three is almost uncontrollable. <laughs> well, three S is definitely uncontrollable. 
Wow. This thing is a literal monster. Whoa! And you can put four headlights in the bumper. I noticed that this morning. Um, it's got two headlight pods in the middle of the bumper and then two down below. So you can put like four lights up front. It's kind of cool. You know, steering, steering range is pretty good on this thing. I got the dual rates maxed out, you know, and uh, it's really good. That looks like a beast. I'd probably say for your kids, get them the brush version to start with. Because there's no way to dial down the juice on this thing. And then when they can control it later on, you know, upgrade it to brushless later. But if you're an adult or, you know, a teenager, definitely get brushless power. You'll or, really have or an fun. adult acting like a teenager. Yes, yes, yes. Like me, yeah. <laughs> Going uphill and it's doing wheelies, yeah. Definitely does need a stronger servo though. That's okay, I got a 15 kilo sitting in the box. That'll be more than enough for this little truck. So let's check the motor temps out and see what she's doing. Oh, you're gonna hear it. Power. That's a little hot. I wonder if you could get a heat sink or something to help. Yeah, dissipate. actually, I do have a heat sink that I should put on it. But for all that, that's not bad. That's decent. Yeah, you were tearing it up. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it is typical HSP. They do gear them high. Yes. But even with the high gearing in this. Um, surprisingly enough, it's got really awesome takeoff. Uh, my other HSP truck that I have, um, also geared high. Um, it'll actually get hotter a lot sooner, um, because of the way the gearing is. So I gotta actually gear it down. Oh, hey, not on the table. It's okay, it's only some rocks. I know. But, um, uh, yeah, it, uh, it does work well. But this servo is a little on the weak side, I find. Um, so that's definitely got to get changed out. But the rest of it, I think it's okay. Uh, I do know that Banggood actually carries HSP parts, and they do carry the lower pinions. So I might actually dial this down a little bit, because I don't want to burn the motor out. And I should dial down my other one just a hair. Um, and they'll still be a blast of fun, you know. It's just that they need to be down geared a little bit. So that, that motor temp can come down because I mean you guys I'm sure have pretty much figured out how much time I just played with this first run and that motor's a little on the hot side and uh, so it's it's definitely got to go down a couple of teeth for sure and then I think it'll be a perfect setup a little more controllable stronger servo will help a little bit more but uh, otherwise even right out of the box I mean the thing is a hoot battery warm just a hair just a hair so it's accept it's within acceptable limits yeah it's still gonna lots get, of juice left, get I mean but you know I'm not gonna keep you guys here to kill an entire battery because these things run for quite a while on a 3500 milliamp battery <laughs> so but uh, yeah other than that I, I'm quite happy with it um, it will run 3s but <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to because you will start actually um, destroying axles um, with the 3S going through it. And I would rather gear it down before I even try 3S. So I will I will try, yeah, I'll, I'll try the 3S, but after it's been geared down. You yeah. know, because I don't want to blow the snot out of the motor and stuff. Um, you know, 
but uh, even on two Hess, man, that is ridiculous, you know. But like I said, very normal for HSP trucks to be just wild freakazoids out of the box. I don't know why more people don't buy them, you know, because they're inexpensive. They're built really, really decently, actually. This one's built really strong. Like, it's built a, a lot of the thought process that went into this. You've got a lot of Traxxas characteristics because of your pillow balls and your steering uh, with upper your knuckles and whatnot, upper and lower um, A arms or arms. But, um, you know, and it's so beefy. I mean, this thing's going to be a really good jumper with, once it's set up right. And you don't even have to adjust the suspension. And it's, oh. The suspension's like bottomed out. Like, it's no preload on there. And, no. You know, it's, it's really good. So. I actually had to beef the suspension up on my other HSP. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just a great truck. So if you want to know how much I paid for it, I don't remember offhand, but... Um, RC Hobbies Outlet. RCHobbiesOutlet.com if you live in Canada. Uh, they carry the Wolverines. They carry the other HSPs, which are the standard design. These have the new chassis design, so you can really tell the difference when you're looking at the pictures and that. You know, so this is the new design format, and I think they really did a nice job on it. You know, um, can't wait to start metalizing a lot of stuff on this. And I've already been looking into some metal upgrades, and they already have the steering knuckles. Um, they've got A arms. They've got a bunch of other stuff too already um, in metal. So I probably wouldn't go metal A arms, but definitely on the knuckles. And it is full ball bearing too. And like I said, you do have your C CV um, axle system already in this truck already, which is a, it's a, it's an upgrade over the older ones. You know, the mm -hmm. older ones you had to buy them extra, which my wife did for hers. Yeah. And she's got to replace two of them because we let our grandson loose with the truck and he twisted a couple of four them. years old. Yeah, four year old kid doesn't axles. know anything but full power and. <laughs> He had a blast though, yes, and I was did. all good he with that. He had a great time. So, but uh, yeah, awesome little truck, man. Like, I, I would, I would definitely recommend one. But you know, like I said, I want to do a little bit more testing on it still. Then I will give you my full out review, go through all the bad points. I'm going to change the servo, see what the difference is. You know, I mean, I know it's going to be an improvement, but I want to see how this. Um, ESC also handles a 15 kilogram servo whether or not I'm going to need a back because we don't know yeah, what kind of amperage the ESC puts out so we'll have to see how that works out and I definitely want to mod some headlights and I've already got all the parts to do that so I might do something really freaky on the front or something I don't know we'll figure it out anyways guys in the meantime thanks so much for watching and staying tuned to the channel definitely a ton more RC stuff coming um, you know, and it's going to be like Christmas around here for mod parts for the next several months. <laughs> I've pre-ordered a lot of stuff that's just constantly rolling in. Um, and I'll probably be ordering even more stuff. And I actually have a few more RCs I want to get before winter. Um, because this winter, it's going to be just a hoot. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.